Good morning, good life. Welcome back to Amy TV, where we come together to help you go after the life you want. It's time for another episode of The Freedom Five, brought to you by Nerd Wallet. In this series, we always talk about tips that take you from your part-time passion to your full-time freedom. So today we're gonna focus on a really big part of the equation when it comes to financial freedom, and that's the finances. This video has been heavily requested. That is an understatement. So many of you, thank you, have reached out to me and asked questions about how to organize your financial well-being so that you can go after the life you want. And so yeah, it's time to finally dive right in. Hit the like button if you have a couple of financial to-dos that you'd like to get in order. And if you don't hit the like button, you're a liar because we all have a number of things on that list, don't we? Here are my five tips to help you get those finances where you want them to be. You're already off to a great start with tip number one, which is to get educated. You need to be resourceful and surround yourself with great financial information if you wanna start making the right decisions. So books, podcasts, even YouTube videos, whatever it is, they're usually very accessible, mostly not a lot of money. So that's great because we don't need to spend money where we don't necessarily need to. Getting educated is so important. The majority of the time you don't have to be an accounting nerd. You just need to hear the right advice on a regular basis so that you don't get confused of what to do in the future. Whether you're trying to pay off debt, whether you're trying to build up your savings, whether you're just trying to improve your credit score, there's a number of different things and there's a lot of different information out there. But the more that you educate yourself, the more you're going to be able to make educated decisions. Stop thinking this is all too complicated. This is too difficult for me. I would need to hire somebody to handle this for me if I really wanted to do it right. And I can't hire someone because it's not like I have all kinds of money because my finances are in order. If you keep putting that in your head, you're not going to take the small steps to get educated, which are going to teach you the small steps to start going in the right direction. And they really are just accumulation of small steps, just like everything else we talk about here, habit building and going after the life you want. No matter what it is that you're trying to fix, it's usually just a couple of small steps in the right direction so that they can compound up to something really big. I have a couple of book recommendations. One of them I gave you recently in Amy TV Book Club, our chat of the six books that I kicked off summer reading with. Just finished Ramit Sethi's I Will Teach You To Be Rich, a fantastic read, so actionable, so relatable, so funny. Ramit is hilarious. I highly recommend you pick this up. And there are action steps at the end of every chapter to help. And Jen Sincero's You Are a Badass at Making Money. She is a badass and I just love her work. And this book was so motivating if you have a financial scarcity mindset, which I come from myself in terms of how I was brought up and how I thought about money and how I was confused about money. This is a very, very good one for you to get your head straight on. My second tip is to keep track of everything. I used to think that I could just hide from my financial situation. I have no idea what my debt count is. I have no idea what my interest rates are. I have absolutely no idea what my credit score is. And it felt like by not knowing, I didn't have to take on the responsibility until it became a responsibility a bigger one. The worst thing that you can do is play ignorant and ignore the problem. The sooner you look at it and figure out the baby steps to go in the right direction, the sooner that you'll be getting things in order. But being ignorant and allowing yourself to be ignorant and saying, I don't know, I'm not a math person is not going to cut it. That's going to kick you in the butt for a very, very long time. On this note, I'm so happy to be working with NerdWallet on this video. They're sponsoring this episode of Amy TV because they are helping you to easily be able to keep track of everything so that you can get smart about your finances and not play the ignorance card. NerdWallet is an app, it's free to download, and it helps you keep track of all of your finances in one place. Whether you're staying on top of your spending and your retirement savings, or just getting regular alerts on your credit score activity and changes, they will easily help you track everything while also helping you discover small ways to master your money. NerdWallet helps you know how much you have and how much you're spending. They give you a complete view of your cash, investments, debt, and loans, all in one place. They even give you recommendations of how to get the most for your money, including giving you insight on how much interest you can earn by switching over to a high yield 
savings account. So while you're keeping track of everything, NerdWallet's gonna nudge you in the right direction. If NerdWallet gives you a tip on what to do with your spending or your savings, you're gonna wanna take it. These are the baby steps that we're talking about getting you in the right direction. They'll even analyze your credit score and give you a couple ways that you can improve it. This is the simplest thing you can do. If you do nothing else, you can immediately start tracking your finances right now with the NerdWallet app and start heading in the right direction by getting in the know of what your situation is right now. Not better than what it is and not worse than what it is and not I don't know what it is. Just knowing exactly what it is. Discover the insights that you need to master your money with NerdWallet's free app. It's available in the App Store and in Google Play and I will leave a link to it in the description down below. My third tip is to cancel your bank fees. Did you know you could do that? You probably can. One of the best things about the technology era, especially in finances, is how many options we have. You may be like me and have the same checking account that you have had since very early on in your adulthood. And you, like me, know how painful it would be to change it up. The banks know this too. And that is exactly how fees happen. Because the amount of pain we have to move our checking account to another number or another place is much greater than the fee that pops up every now and again. I wanna challenge you, go back to your account and look for any fees that you have incurred just in 2020, just in the last six months or so. Most banks will make these statements very easily available for you to pull up online just using your username and password. Okay, so if you looked at them, you know the total number, right? That number may not seem life-changing, but I bet you can think of a better way you would have spent it. And over time, that number really makes a huge difference. Think about what percentage that is in your take-home pay. If you're fed up with that, just call your bank and ask them, hey, I noticed I'm getting charged fees on this account. I would like to be switched to a no fee account, please. If they say they don't have that option available for you, let them know you've done a lot of research online and you know that there are tons of options available to you. So you'll be stopping in to close your account and take your money elsewhere. Chances are you're not gonna be able to hang up the phone with someone who just found out they might be losing an account for the business. Most of the time they find that special, special, special that's hanging out in the back behind the books on the bookshelf that they can suddenly offer you right now without any problem whatsoever. And if that doesn't happen, go into the bank and say, I want to close my account and take your money from them because I bet someone in there will let you know about the special, special, special. Just being willing to ask and say, listen, I'm reassessing my finances and I think this is an unnecessary fee and I've been a good customer is totally within your right and something you should feel comfortable doing. You should always question somebody who's charging you. My fourth tip for you to start getting your finances in order is to set up auto pay for everything. If you're not already set up online with all of your bills, whether it's credit cards or utilities or rent or anything like that to be paid automatically, welcome to 2020. There's absolutely no reason for the unnecessary drama of testing out the due dates for things that you need to pay for. You know it's due, you gotta pay it. Even if it's the minimum payment on something that you have flexible payment options on, you should always make that payment on time. And so there's no reason not to have it set up automatically. This helps you so much more with budgeting right off the bat because you know that amount's gonna come out every single time, no matter what, or something bad is going to happen. You're not gonna be able to improve your credit or start saving or start budgeting or start managing your finances overall properly if you act like every bill you have is potentially a little optional. Especially when you start getting those fees again, okay? The late fees are gonna be difficult to avoid. After a period of time, they're not gonna forgive them and give them back to you if you actually had the ability to call and ask for that. And making sure that your savings account helps you in case of an overdraft situation with your checking account will also make sure that those bills get paid and you don't end up with overdraft fees. These are all things that we have to get better at. So having our bills automatically paid is an instant way to get on the right track with that. And my fifth tip is for you to get help from the right people. Believe me when I say I know what it feels like to feel like you are drowning in your financial situation and that there is no one out there that would be willing to help you. Not only are there a lot of free resources out there that are available 
to help you right now. But if you don't feel like you have the right people around you to give you financial advice, maybe there's nobody that has done a great job of getting themselves out of a negative financial situation into a positive one, or people who just in general know how to manage money well, seek those people out. For most of us, there are so many resources. We've got free resources, we have paid resources, we can buy a book, we can buy a course on it. But there may be more people who are in a dire situation that really need to talk to someone that knows knows what they're talking about. If that's the case, do not hide from where you are right now. You can come out of it. You can make a change. There is always a way to figure it out. Talk to someone who you can trust, a friend, a family member, somebody who knows one of your friends or family members and just say, hey, I'm looking to get off on the right foot here even though I've been on the wrong foot for a while. What should I do first? Where can I go? The point here being, that doing nothing about it is not going to improve it and it is probably going to make your life a lot worse for a longer period of time. But on that note, you do not have to be a math genius. I still use my iPhone calculator for absolutely every financial transaction that I have to do. Just take the baby steps. There's a few here. I'm sure that you have more that you could share. Share them in the comments down below. If you are someone who has found your way out of a crappy little financial issue and you have a tip for everyone. Let's all share, let's all help each other. And there's one big step that you can take in the right direction and it's just as easy as downloading an app onto your phone. Check out Nerd Wallet. the link to that will be in the description below. That's all for today, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Remember, subscribe for good vibes, kiss the ones you love, and go after the life you want. Cheers. Oh, 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 oh,